Hey, welcome Earthlings. And so, um, as you see, we've skillfully arranged for the World Vegan Day to um, coincide with uh, our show day. So, uh, happy World Vegan Day, everyone. And I, I have with me Louise Wallace, who has a special connection to World Vegan Day. So, hi, Louise. Welcome along. And what's your connection to World Vegan Day? Hi, Roger. And hello, everyone. Um, my special connection to World Vegan Day is um, I created it, actually, when I was chair of the Vegan Society uh, back in 1994. It, it, it's interesting because there seems to be a dispute about the dates, but uh, not that it's important. But So 1994, because that was the 50th anniversary, that's right, yeah? Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. I was chair of the board of the Vegan Society. The um, Vegan Society is a, a charity and they have a board of trustees. I was the chair at that time and it was back in 1994. Or we, in fact, you know, around 1993, leading up to 1994, we were um, thinking, what can we do to celebrate the 50th uh, birthday of the society? And uh, World Vegan Day came out of that, really. Just I had the idea one day and thought, that's an easy thing to do. It doesn't require, you know, require much, um, you know, the, the staff wouldn't need to do loads of uh, work. Um, it doesn't particularly need funding. It can just be announced and, um, and people can run with it, really. No, we, don't, we, don't, we, don't want the, we don't want the staff doing a lot of work, that's for sure. So um, is, there, is there a kind of why to this? So this is the, um, there we go. This, this is the still there the world vegan day on the vegan society so um what was the motivation then uh, louise well really it's because i suppose um you know up until that point in um within the vegan community um really a lot of the focus had been more on being anti you know the deception anti um meat anti dairy and you know and the word vegan itself, I really like because it's a positive word. It's not like, it's not like, you know, say anti-racist or something. Um, it's a positive word. So rather than being anti-something, you're actually for something, which is mm. kindness. And um, so World Vegan Day seemed like a great opportunity um, to focus more on the positive, to celebrate veganism, you know, for itself so it's a day that could either be used if the um, activists could use it to highlight highlight um, you know cruelty and other aspects of veganism or it can simply be a day of celebration where you know you can organize events to um, socialize and um, switch people onto veganism maybe mm. by you know, back in the day people were organizing um, ways of tempting people to try vegan food and that kind of thing. Now, Louise, you're a long-term vegan, right? And so um, what changes have you seen over the years? Wow. <laughs> well, we, we, we ought to put a content warning, really. We're going to talk, we're going to talk about pre-21st century folks, so hang, hang on to your hats. Veganism did, did exist back then. <laughs> vegan since um, 1983, and I was 18. Um, vegan a very long time ago and um, at that time I can tell you uh, for a start there was only one variety of soy milk which was made by Plamel Foods and that, that was a vegan company set up by vegans to create plant milk which didn't exist until then. But the only brand of soy milk on the market and you had to dilute it, it was in a concentrated form. Basically if you wanted to eat you needed to be able to be, you know, get your cooking skills sorted. So it's actually a really positive thing because at the young age of 18, I, I had to sort of quickly learn how to cook um, and you know, access food for myself. And um, that's, that's really useful. It's a really good skill to develop um, at a young age. And um, so the food provision was, um, you know, you could get vegan food some health food shops and things like that you get chocolate and well, you know treats and things but you didn't really get much of a choice as i said there was only one type of soy milk the vegan cheese um was non-existent 
for a particularly dreadful recipe. <laughs> <laughs> vegan margarine, soya flour, and parma make a, a cheese substitute. And I can tell you it was pretty revolting. Um, Do you know that Ronnie, Ronnie Lee still makes that and he still likes it? <laughs> Does he really? <laughs> I think I had some tomato puree at some point to sort of try to improve its taste. But um, I sort of persisted with it for a while, you know, sort of wanting to eat a pickle sandwich type thing. But in the end, I just thought, no, that it's actually really horrible. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, re I remember the colour of it was a bit off putting you know, you know with, with them so many vegan events going on nowadays do you do you think the day is still relevant well it's a good question because obviously to an extent the january sort of um, you know picks up the reins and um that's you know that time of year is a very uh, uh good time of year now where we have a big um where veganism gets highlighted you know and a lot of people try veganism and a lot of people go vegan and remain vegan um, so it's like World Vegan Day, which is sort of like um, sort of, uh, almost like the prototype of that. Um, and it's been expanded from World Vegan Day into World Vegan Month, uh, where it has a similar aim really to the January, which is to sort of switch people on. But basically, we should get this into context. You know, veganism has exploded in some countries, but in other countries, and this is World Vegan Day, you know. Um, veganism, you know, hasn't sort of taken off in the same way, uh, especially in sort of poorer countries and uh, where people have less choice, you know, about what they eat and stuff. So I just think it's important, you know, sometimes we can be in the vegan bubble and think, you know, we're nearly there with, you know, because we've had so much success now in the UK with getting vegan food out there, you know, and available in a way that it, it wasn't, certainly <laughs> wasn't back in my time. Um, which is fantastic, but at the same time, there's lots of work to be done, and also to bear in mind issues like jurisdiction, which um, you know, animal experimentation, which seem to sort of be dubbed to the side a bit, um, because they're perhaps you know it's a more difficult issue to campaign on. Uh, yeah, and that's that's pretty important. Uh, your your line your line's dropping in and out, but it seems to be fairly good now. So I just want to. I just want to say thank you for honouring us with your presence at World Vegan Day. You're obviously a very important person in that respect. So um, thanks very much, uh, Louise. And uh, you yourself have a good World Vegan Day. So uh, take care, yeah? Having me. Thanks very much. <laughs>